Hey guys, welcome to the Family Fudge and welcome to Bunches of Lunches Super Mario Edition. Now, last week during spring break, the kids and I went to see the new Mario movie and it was a blast. So this week, I decided to make each of the kids a special lunch to go with the Mario theme. All of these lunches are super fun but really easy to make and they actually don't take a lot of time to put together. I'm kicking things off with a lunch for my son, Griffin. And for this one, I'm going with a traditional Mario theme. It's -a me, Mario. Now, Griffin is a huge Mario fan, and I've actually made quite a few different Mario themed lunches for him over the years. For today's lunch though, I'm keeping things super easy. Now, I could only find one Mario themed food at my grocery store, and it's this Mario spaghetti with meatballs. This comes with really fun pasta shapes and hopefully Griffin will like this since I don't think he's ever had SpaghettiOs before. Next, I'm going to top this with a cheese M and that's just to look like the M on the front of Mario's hat. Next, I'm giving Griffin some green grapes. These are kind of to represent green Koopa shells. And for a veggie, I'm adding some carrot coins. Now, of course, these are meant to look like the coins that you can collect in the Mario games. Next, I'm adding in some red raspberries since Mario's color is red. And for a salty snack, Griffin's getting some of these cheese-filled Ritz crackers. Now, these don't really tie into the Mario theme, but I know that Griffin really likes these, so I'm adding them in anyway. And then for the sweet treat, I made some semi-homemade Mario villain-themed cupcakes. Now to make these, I just got some store-bought frosting, and to some of these cupcakes, I'm adding the red frosting, and to some, I'm adding green. Next, I'm taking a white frosting, and I'm adding a ring around the edges, and some spikes around the top. Now the red ones look like spiny, and of course the green ones totally give off a Bowser vibe. And now for the drink, I'm going to put together a very simple Mario Power Up Punch. This is just a mixture of fruit punch mixed with lemonade. It's -a me, Mario! Woohoo! Next up, we're making a lunch for Lily, and as you can tell by her cosplay, we're going with a Princess Peach theme. Now, honestly, Lily is not a huge fan of meat sandwiches, so that's why she often gets a PB&J. And this time, instead of strawberry jam, I'm using peach preserves. And you guys, this jam smells so good. I love the smell of peaches. Mm -hmm. 
Now to make the sandwich really look like Princess Peach, I printed out a sandwich stamp and I'm just going to fill it up with my food writer pens. Now, I'm not sure if this sandwich turned out cute or creepy, but you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. Peaches, 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 peaches. Next, for the fruit, I'm actually going to mix some peaches and raspberries together. That just sounds like something Lily would love. And then right next to that, I grabbed this Greek yogurt with peaches in it. And to dress up the yogurt just a bit, I have these really pretty flower sprinkles. For the veggies, I just cut some pieces of cucumber to look like flower petals, and I cut some carrots to look like tulips. Now for a little bit more protein in here, I'm also gonna be adding some Baby Bell cheese. For the sweet treat, I picked up a box of macarons. Now there's just something about macarons that feel fancy to me, and that makes them perfect for a princess themed lunch. Now to dress these up a little bit, I'm gonna get back out my food writer pens, and I'm going to try my best to draw a very simple version of Princess Peach's crown right on top. Now lastly, for the special drink, I'm putting together some Princess Peach Punch. This is just a mixture of peach and strawberry water flavorings. Now that brings me to a lunch for my daughter Mackenzie. And for her, I'm going with a toad slash mushroom theme since she does love all things mushroom and the cottagecore aesthetic. For her main course, I'm putting together kind of like a chicken Caesar salad. I'm going to start by loading some seasoned cooked chicken right on the bottom. Now of course she's going to mix this salad up right before she eats it. But for now, I'm just putting some salad mix with spinach right on top. To go with the salad, I'm adding some Caesar dressing on the side. And now comes the fun part, decorating the top of the salad. First, I'm going to make some radishes look like little mushrooms. Now I've made these years ago and I kind of forgot how, but I'm gonna try my best. So now the salad is getting a few of these radish mushrooms, that's to represent toad, and then I'm also going to cut some yellow bell peppers into stars, and that's to represent the power stars. Oh yes, and I'm also going to add just a few cucumbers just for fun. Next, for the fruit, I'm going to combine strawberries and green grapes. Now for the strawberries, I'm just cutting out a little V right in the center, and then I'm going to add everything to some little skewers. Now the idea is that these represent the piranha plants from the game. Now for a snack on the side, I'm also adding these rosemary and olive oil Triscuits. 
And to go with them, I'm going to cut some cheese into little mushroom shapes. For a sweet treat, I'm giving Mackenzie some gold coins. Of course, these ones are filled with chocolate. And now lastly, for the drink, I decided to throw in something I very rarely buy, and that is Yoohoo. And really, this just reminds me of when Mario says woohoo in the game and in the movie. Woohoo! Next up, I'm making a lunch for my son, Jackson, and for him, I'm going with a Luigi theme. And you guys, this time, I'm starting with a sweet treat first. I'm putting together a single serve Rice Krispie treat. This is just half a tablespoon of butter and about three quarters of a cup of mini marshmallows. I'm just going to pop this in the microwave until melted. Then I'm adding vanilla, a pinch of salt, and some yellow food coloring. Next, I'm gonna add in about half a cup of Rice Krispie cereal, and I'm going to mix it all together. Now, you don't have to do this part, but I'm going to dump this into a little square container because I want this to look like a brick when it's done. Now, after a few minutes, this has hardened up, and I can go ahead and cut this into four little blocks. And then to finish these off, I'm just going to melt a few of these white chocolate wafers, and I'm going to very carefully try to add a little question mark to each one. Now these are supposed to resemble question blocks from the game. So now back to the rest of Jackson's lunch. Now I've heard that Mario's favorite food is spaghetti and meatballs, but Luigi's favorite food is pizza. So I'm just putting together some easy mini pizza quesadillas. Now these are really good when you serve them hot, but they're also really tasty at room temperature. Now just to dress these up a bit, I'm gonna cut an extra piece of cheese into a star shape. And then I'm taking my food writer pen to add in the little eyes. That way it looks like a power star. For some fruit, I'm adding some golden pineapple squares, and I'm making sure to save some of this 100% pineapple juice for the special drink later. Next, to go along with this lunch, I'm also cutting some checkerboard cucumbers. This is really easy to do, but I don't recommend kids doing this because it does take a lot of knife skills, and you have to be really careful. Next, I'm adding some cherry tomatoes, and I arranged them to look like a flower. For Jackson's salty snack, I picked up a canister of these cheese balls. And of course, these are to represent the fireballs from the game.
And then right next to those, I have just enough space left for the Rice Krispie question blocks. And now back to that special Luigi punch. First, I'm adding this kiwi lime flavor water pack. And then to that, I'm just going to add a little bit of that pineapple juice that I saved. Okay guys, now I hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video.